Zambia now. I don't regret even a bit supporting the PF. I don't regret even a bit. I don't regret even a bit supporting the PF. You know why? I supported the PF without collecting even one quarter from them. I supported the PF based on conviction and based on the future that I saw and based on the things that were going to happen after I saw them. I have paid dearly. I, I have paid dearly for that. But it makes me happy. It makes me happy now that they are now exposing themselves. Yes. I'm very happy that they are now exposing themselves. A lot of things. A lot of things. Please, I'm going to be watching every live broadcast that Sia One is going to do from today. I'm going to be watching it. Not because I love him. Not because I have interest in whatever he's saying. But because a lot of things are going to be exposed. Things that we had done against altars of God. Things that we had done against altars of God. They are going to be exposed. And now we watch them to be exposed. Because the book of Psalms says it this way. With your eyes shall you see. Behold the reward of the wicked. You will see the reward of the wicked. You will see the reward of the wicked. So, is Sia one a yardstick for measuring a successful politician in Zambia? Sia one can never be a, a yardstick. Sia one can never be anybody that can recommend the presidency of Zambia. Sia one, Sia one is not the person that will recommend who should become president. Whether in 2026, whether in 2031, that, that, because God has exposed him. All right? God has exposed him. You see, God has exposed that for him, Zambia is a paycheck to sell to the highest bidder. I want to warn Dr. Fred Membe. I want to warn uh, uh, Mr. Harry Kalaba. I want to warn former president ECL. I want to warn uh, uh, all the opposition leaders. For Zambia to become a great nation, we need an opposition that is not compromised. And any opposition, any opposition, any opposition, that gets into an alliance with CR1 can never be a credible opposition. I said this without fear of contradiction. If, if, if any opposition enters into an alliance with CR1, we might as well continue with the way things are. Because ladies and gentlemen, any opposition I want to say this to Dr. Fred Membe because Dr. Fred Membe is one of the people that I, 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 I am seeing by the hand of God that during his political career, God will lift him. I'm seeing that. I want to talk to Dr. Fred Membe. Don't enter into an alliance with Sia. The Zambian people they are only listening to Sia because they want to be entertained. There is a difference when in 2021, they listen to him because they thought that he is speaking for them. That is why they listen to him. But now, the people of Zambia are listening to him, number one, to know the depths of the wickedness, number two, for entertainment. So that claim yesterday that if the opposition want to win an election, they should use CR1. You lie. You lie. You lie. You lie. You lie. Nobody will use CR1 in this country and win an election. The Zambian people are not fools. Okay? The Zambian people are not fools. This is a time of complete exposure by God. 
And who is the person that is being exposed? Who is the person that is being exposed? The one that is taking the, the, face, the face of godliness. And there are people who are saying, Oh, who are you, prophet Ian Genesis, to speak about Siawan when you prophesied that uh, Isia was going to win the election and their church won the election? I just heard yesterday, and we are going to hear more. I just heard yesterday from the live video of Siawan that he helped them to win the election on deception. My credibility is still intact as a man of God. My credibility is still intact. It's like bribing a judge to rule in your favor when you know you are guilty. And you accuse a man of God that told you that you are guilty. You accuse him that since the judge has proven me innocent, then I am innocent. Then you are a fool. Then you are not thinking correctly. Then there is no sense inside you. This is what a lot of people in Zambia say about me. No, Prophet Genesis, why are you talking? Why are you still talking? Listen, if somebody tells you that we lied, we cheated, we deceived in order for us to enter into government, we lied. Who are you to point the finger at the prophet of God that stood on integrity, that stood on the correct mind of God, that stood on the will of God over a land. Who are you to point fingers at that man? My integrity as prophet Ian Genesis is intact. My integrity as a man of God, not as a politician, my integrity as a man of God is intact. And I want to thank Siawan for vindicating me. Siawan, thank you so much. I was waiting for a day when God will vindicate his servants, when God will begin to vindicate us, I thank you very much. It's a good day for me to be alive as Ian Genesis. It's a good day for me to be alive. It's a good day for my members, my followers, who have stayed with me to be alive because we have been vindicated. We have been vindicated. We have been vindicated. And I thank God also that President Haka in the Ichilema did not give opportunity to see one to come to Zambia because these lies, these deceptions, these things that were done in 2021, they were not going to come to light. You see, God has a way of doing things. God has a way of doing things. You see, Zambia is a Christian nation. And Zambia is a nation under God. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. This is what a lot of people don't understand even in government. Zambia is a Christian nation. And Zambia is a nation under God. Zambia is a Christian nation. Zambia is a nation under God. Anything that is done in a lie shall be exposed in Zambia. Anything that is done in deception shall be exposed in Zambia. That's the way Zambia is. It's a nation under God. You cannot do... You see, let me tell you something. Watch. I want every one of my followers. Next week, Sunday, Siawan is coming live. I want every of my followers to watch because what you have watched is just the political side. You have not watched the diabolical side. You have not watched the covenants that people entered in in 2021. You don't expect certain things to work. And I want to appeal to President Aka Indechilema. President Aka Indechilema, if you want things to work in the nation of Zambia, Connect to men and women of God of integrity. Connect to men. See, listen, if there is anything that was done diabolically, it can be reversed. It can be reversed. And that's the truth. Anything that was done diabolically can be reversed. But you see, you cannot continue living in deception. You cannot continue living a lie and believe that things are going to be corrected. 
You see, after the election of 2021, I, 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 I released a prophecy. The seven, uh, the three years of scarcity in Zambia. What is the solution to this? The UPND government should seek the face of God. The opposition, you see, Zambia, I want, I want, I want people to understand. The UPND government must seek the face of God. The opposition in Zambia must seek the face of God. Stop politicking. Stop politicking. Because this issue of in 2021, oh, I gave them my rings. I want to collect them back. In 2026, I, I gave them my rings. I want to collect them back. Does it mean that people in Zambia cannot win an election without using diabolical means? The Bible says the devil was a liar from the beginning. He was a liar from the beginning. He was a liar from the beginning. So if the UPND government want things to be well in the nation of Zambia, they need to seek true men of God that will speak truth to power. Not people that go to government because they want to benefit financially from government. I can hit my hand on my chest. Edika Chagwalungu, former president of the Republic of Zambia, did not give me not even one kwacha to prophesy. All his MPs did not give me not even one kwacha to prophesy. I prophesied because I hate the mind of God. These are the kinds of prophets that the UPND must begin to look at. These are the kind of prophets that the opposition must begin to look at. Because we have to understand something. To govern people, you have to govern them with the fear of God. You cannot govern people while you are using deception. You cannot govern people while you are using lies. You see, lies have got a way of destroying a nation. Lies always want a cover-up. A cover-up. Every lie needs a cover-up. Every lie needs a cover-up. Listen, we may not drive the cars that Siawan is driving, but we have integrity. We may not live in the house that, you, you see, the amount of money that Siawan has cannot be compared to some of us, our bank accounts. We are very far from him. But the truth of the matter is, when it comes to speaking the mind of God, our integrity is intact. When it comes to speaking what God is speaking, our integrity is intact. You, you see, so you go to a man of God, you go to a man of God because the man of God will speak, the, the man of God will tell you what is wrong. Yesterday, Siawan was saying, uh, if the opposition does not come to me and we sign something, I cannot go to war for free. How can a man of God not go to war for free? Because if Siawan believes that what UPND is doing is wrong, he must be able to stand for what is wrong without receiving a payment. That is how a man of God is supposed to be. So for CR1, the misfortune of UPND becomes a business strategy for him to market himself. Yesterday was marketing. Many of you, you don't know. He was, he constantly was saying over 13,000 people are watching. Over 13,000 people. Why was he consistently saying that? He was saying that because he was marketing himself to the opposition. That when I come live, this is the number of people that watch me. So you need me. The opposition in Zambia does not need him. The government in power does not need him. It is time that Zambia have leaders that we stand for integrity. Leaders, I, 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 leaders like, like, let Patrick Mwanawasa, that we stand for integrity. You understand? That we stand for integrity. You see, some of us, you see, there are some of the things that Siawan maybe can say about me that, oh, that boy is poor. Yes, I'm not as rich as Siawan, 
but I have integrity and I have the mind of God. I know where God is taking Zambia. I know what God has to do in Zambia. I know the certain things that God has to do. Yes, he has more crowd than me, but the truth of the matter is this. A man of God is not measured by crowd. A man of God is not measured by popularity. A man of God is not measured by money. A man of God is measured by integrity. What he stands for. See how one stands for money. See how one stands for money. And this is the promise I want to make every politician in Zambia. Any politician that I get information that you have gone to Nigeria to go and sign an agreement and you want to come and deceive the people of God in Zambia, I will come live on my page. You may say, no, Prophetian doesn't have numbers. My friend, I've got influence. You may say, I don't have numbers, my friend. Wait till I post about you. That's when you are going to know that this boy has got influence. We are going to expose you. Whether it is opposition, whether it is ruling party, because you cannot get advice from the devil and, and expect to do the right things. This is what I told even a young man before he died. One a, a prophet in, in Kafue, I told him, man of faith. I told the young man and I said to him, you cannot be consulting CR1 and expect your life to be okay. You cannot do that. CR1 is like a man that presents a woman to you for you to marry and recommends that woman. And when you discover that that woman is not what he presented, he begins to fight the woman with you. He's not a good friend. So all of us who have got sense in Zambia, believe me you, a lot of things will come out. Yes, a lot of things will come out. And I pity, I pity, I pity the people that still fight us. I pity them. This guy has raped our country. This country has made Siawan a multi-millionaire. A multi... You, you, you don't know how rich Zambia has made Siawan. I'm telling you the truth. You don't know to the extent of how rich Zambia has made Siawan. Why? Because we allowed him to deceive us. We allowed him to deceive our, our political leaders. We allowed him to, de to deceive even the elect. Even pastors were deceived by him. He has, he has what is called a sweet tongue. Yes, a sweet tongue. A sweet tongue. He has a, he has a sweet... You know, he has that sweet... People, people don't know what is called talk and do. Do as I say. Many people, when they hear do as I say... They think it's just a word. These guys, people like Sia, let me tell you something. Me, I don't know Sia One from social media. I know Sia One, I have stayed with him. I have eaten with him. I know the level of wickedness. He doesn't care about anything. He cares about money. So opposition, we go to Nigeria sign an agreement with him they pay him money he comes on facebook begins to fight some ministers and i'm not saying what the ministers are doing is wrong i also agree i also agree i also agree that president haka indechilema was supposed to fire health minister i agree of that because by virtue of the health minister, Sylvia Masewa being transferred to another ministry, that is an admission of guilt. So I also agree with that. But you need to check what I agree with beyond what I am agreeing with. Siawan is not, is not speaking against Sylvia Masewa because Sylvia Masewa is wrong. Siawan is speaking against Sylvia Masewa because Siawan has not benefited from Sylvia Masewa. Remember, Siawan was one of the people 
that was hanging around Sylvia Masego. How do I know this? And I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, 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 and I said this without fear of contradiction. Because Sylvia Masebo has had a building in Avondale, which she rented out to Siawan. So they have a connection. They have a communication. So the only reason why Siawan is fighting Sylvia Masebo is not because he has integrity. The only reason why Siawan wants to fight a church is not because Siawan has got integrity or he has realized that something is wrong. He is fighting these people because they are not giving him his cut. They are not giving him his share. So as long as they have not given him his share, he will fight them. As long as they give him his share, he will not fight them. Now, what is he a politician? He must come and tell us that what he's doing is a politician and he's not a man of God. Because a man of God, whether you give me a share or you don't give me a share, what is wrong is wrong. What is right is right. And this is why people follow men of God. Because men of God are supposed to advise them on which way to go. Men of God are supposed to stand for the integrity. A lot of things in Zambia are going wrong. But it is not CR1 that is the right person to hold the judgment seat. Because remember, every judge must be impartial. In the court of law, every judge must have impartiality. But Siawan is an interested party. You see? Siawan is an interested party. I want to talk to the great youths that God is raising in the nation of Zambia, like Simon Mwila. Is it? Is it yeah, Simon Mwila. Simon Mulenga Mwila. I want to talk to these people using Facebook because I know Simon, God is preparing governmental seat for him. But stay away from Siawan. Siawan cannot be used for you to achieve your political ambition because he has no integrity. Whoever that is listening to Siawan now on social media, they are clapping. For him to expose himself. Some people are asking that you were watching. Yes. Yesterday I watched. Yesterday I watched. And I was very happy to watch. Because vindication has come for the children of God. This is a man that insulted our fathers of faith. Like Apostle Sande Sinyangwe. This is a man that insulted great bishops in Zambia. But alas, with his own mouth, he's beginning to confess. You see, even what is happening to Siawan now is the hand of God. God is operational in what is happening. With our eyes shall we see, behold, the reward of the wicked. You can't sell Zambia. No, no. Zambia is not a business commodity that you can sell. You cannot sell Zambia. I repeat this. President H.H., thank you for not allowing Siawan to come back to Zambia. Because, because all these things that we are hearing as exposures, they will not come to light. They will not come to light. One of the things that Siawan wanted the most is for him to be invited to Zambia. For him to come back to Zambia, he wanted that the most. Because ladies and gentlemen, his life was revolving around Zambia. And it didn't turn out. There is a lot that is happening in closed doors. There is a lot that is happening in closed doors. There is a lot that is happening in closed doors. There are, there, there are a lot of information that come to me. Even on my phone, yes. Yes. There, there are a lot of information that come to me. A lot of information about politicians, the dealings they are doing, backdoor dealings. But you know what? I'm not a man of God that when I hear something, I come to social media and I talk about it. I begin to seek the face of God. To know the root of what is happening. To know the root of what is going on. Last week, uh, I think it was on Thursday or Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Last week on Wednesday or Thursday, 
we were somewhere in Kablonga, and a certain politician said to me, he said, Prophet, do you know that there are some opposition members that have traveled to Nigeria to go and meet Siawan? I said, what? I said, what? Really? Because you see, we need politicians in Zambia that have integrity. If you are a politician in Zambia and you have integrity, you will have nothing to do with Siawan. That is the starting point. Bet Bettina Musonda, I said, thank you, man of God, for standing for your country. Thank you so much and may God bless you. It has not been easy. Many of you that are watching me online right now, many of you that accuse me of being funded by politicians, do you even know that I don't have a car? I use Yango to move. Do you know that I, if I am a person like those candiles that you know that are doing everything possible to collect money from people so that they can speak for people, do you know how many politicians approach me on a weekly basis? I have integrity. Me, I have integrity. I can tell you here on live, I have a lot of politicians in my phone that I can support. And they can buy me anything that I, I, I need. But it, it will surprise you. Ask my members, people that come to my church. They will tell you that Prophet Ian Genesis doesn't even have a car. I don't have a car. I'm saying it live for the whole world to hear. I don't have a car. If I was a person that spoke because money was involved, I was speaking for a president of a country. Do you think I would not have a car? No matter how much I am not wise, I was speaking for a president of a country. I was speaking for ECL, a president of a country, a very rich man. Do you think I will not have a car? And I'm very happy I don't have a car. I have peace that I stand on integrity. Do you think that I, 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 cannot, I cannot have connections to speak to the current president, Mr. Hakainde Ichilema? I'm telling you, those of you that think, no, Prophet Ian is a candidate, Prophet Ian this and this, I don't even have a car. Not even a fit. I don't even have a car to move with for God's sake. And I was speaking for a president. That's how much I have integrity. That is how much I have integrity. Do you know I have, I have the number for Boma Lusambo? Do you know I have the, the number for Kampiongo? Do you know I have the number for almost every PF MP? Do you know that I have the numbers of almost every UPND MP? If I was easily bribed, you will see a Fortuner. You will see a Range Rover. You will see all sorts of cars around me. But you see, I have served God with integrity. I have served God and it is a good day for me to be alive. When I hear people saying, we entered into agreements, we signed somewhere, I've never told a politician to sign anywhere in order for me to support him. I've never told a politician to sign anywhere. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I've never told a politician to do that. Anything that I have ever had in my life, any car, any house, anything that I've ever had in my life, God bless me with it genuinely. God bless me with it genuinely. We need men of God in Zambia. Men of God in Z We need men of God. Men of God that will not bow down to money. Men of God that will not bow down to popularity. Men of God that will not bow down to what is trending. What is trending. We, we easily bow down to what is trending. We easily bow down to popularity. We easily bow down. No, he's saying the truth. He's saying the truth. He's saying the truth. You can say the truth even when you are paid. Do you know that when a witness is saying the truth in court, but they have paid him to say that truth, it's not the truth. I'm telling you, integrity integrity let's have integrity let's have integrity let the politicians in zambia have integrity 
Let the politicians in UPND government have integrity. The scandals that are going around every day, let us see integrity. That's all we want to see. Let's see integrity. So, let see how one continue exposing himself. Let see how one and let them continue to expose themselves. The other day, I remember very well, I told Zambians when uh, this guy, uh, uh, what is his name? Abraham Angel. When Abraham Angel was saying a lot of bad things about me, I told people, I said, this guy is a scammer. I told them, this guy is a scammer. He's not a prophet. This guy is a scammer. And before you know it, you are scamming people. These people don't talk because they want to talk. They don't talk because they want to talk. They don't talk because they have heard God. They talk because it will benefit them. It will benefit them. Anything they say must benefit them. Anything they say must benefit them. Anything. Me, I'm not bitter. I'm better. I'm telling you this from the sincerity of my heart. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this with the sincerity of my heart. I love Zambia. I love our nation. I'm a Zambian. I was born in Zambia. I love Zambia. I love everything about Zambia. But let the politicians have integrity. We cannot use opposition. Zambians are crying. Things are not okay. Find solutions to Zambia. Sia one is not one of the solutions. Let me say this for the sake of emphasis. People in Zambia are crying. They are looking to the opposition to bring out checks and balances. To put pressure on the government to do the right thing. Because that is the duty of the opposition. The duty of the opposition is to put pressure on the government so that the government will do the right thing. We do not need, at this point of our country, we don't need an opposition that is compromised. And how do we know that an opposition is compromised when that opposition goes to Siawan? That is already... See... I don't, I don't know if, if people can, can understand my cry. I don't know if people can understand my cry. The moment... The moment... The moment, child of God, we begin to... Zambia has to be great again. Zambia needs to be great again. Everything in Zambia is not okay. The dollar is not okay. Millimi is not, it's not okay. Uh, th these are things that are happen affecting the people of Zambia. But for us to go back to the 2021 formula of CR1, ah, no. No, 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 uh, someone is saying, I remember you once had a Range Rover. Every car I have ever had did not come from a politician. It did not even come from political money. I have integrity. I'm a man that is moving in a dimension of God. People that have encountered me in ministry will tell you that I'm moving in a dimension of God. There is, there is a grace of God over my life that cannot be questioned. And I said this without fear of contradiction. Someone is saying, I hope you are not paid this time around to fight the opposition. Do you, do you know? Do you, let me tell you. If, if President Lungu 
who was one of the richest leaders in Africa, did not give me even one kwacha. Who can manage to pay me? I have a policy. I have a policy. Zambian, Zambian people must understand. I have a policy. I have a policy. There is no politician that can manage to pay me. There is no, there is no politician that can manage to pay me. There is no, there is no, I'm telling you here and now, there is no politician, whether in Zambia, out, I have sons who are presidents of nations. I have sons who are ambassadors of nations. I have, when I speak to these people, some time, some time back, I was speaking to the IG, I was speaking to this. When these people meet me, they say they have met a man of God that has no compromise. Because I rebuke them. I correct them. When Isia was in power, many of you can remember that many of the times I came live to rebuke him and correct him. I rebuked him. If, if, if people are following CR1 because of popularity, I think even Mwizukanji has more, more, more following and more popularity than CR. Let us do the right thing. Let us do the right thing. Let the politicians do the right thing. Fred Membe, uh, uh, Mr. Harry Kalawa, the Uka people. It is because of the pressure that the Uka is even putting on the government that we have had so many things begin to change in the background. So we need the opposition. Yes. President Akainde Chilema needs opposition. That is the only way this country will be correct. He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. Some people ask me, why, why, how did you prophesy that ECL? Listen to me. That prophecy is deeper than what you think. It's, very, it's deeper than what you think. If you want to attack me based on that prophecy, that prophecy is deeper than what you think. Eddie Galungu lost the election, the popular vote. He lost the popular vote. He lost it. But why are we still talking about him in 2024? That should tell you something about that prophecy. If that prophecy was entirely a fake prophecy, why are we talking about Eddie Galungu in 2024? Why are we talking about him? You see, when you analyze things of the spirit, you must see beyond what your natural eyes can see. If my prophecy for 2021 was fake and it did not come from God, why are you talking about Eddie Galungu in 2024? We should have forgotten about him. Zambia should have been a palace. Zambia should have been heaven. By virtue of you still talking about Eddie Gachagwalungu in 2024, 24 should tell you something about the man of God here in Genesis. I'm not a man to play with. Spiritually, I'm not a man to play with. Ask every genuine man of God that had had an encounter with God. Ask them about prophet here in Genesis. They will tell you. They will tell you that that young man knows God. That young man has interacted with God. That young man has got an interaction with divinity. People that are around me will tell you that Prophet Ian Genesis is a fasting machine. They will tell you that this is a man that is consistently hearing God. You see, so you cannot come on Facebook and attack me and say, you prophesied that Lungu was going to win. Okay, I prophesied that Lungu was going to win and he lost. Why are you talking about him now? Why are you talking about him now? So, President HH, President HH, the president of Zambia currently, because President HH is the current president of Zambia, please, 
we need integrity in the government. A lot of people are talking about 2026, 2026, 2026, 2026, 2026. But what you need to understand is that 2026 is very far. 2026 was very, is very, very far. We need this government to have integrity. 2026 is very far. It's very, very far. Okay? 2026 is far. We need a government that has integrity. That's all. We need ministers that have integrity. Okay, if CR1 come and expose them, what's next? That's the truth. He will come on Facebook, talk, 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 and go. But if the government itself do not make up their mind, the presidents, the MPs, the members of, par the members of parliament and the cabinet, if they don't make up their minds to have integrity, then we are, we, are, we are doomed. We are doomed. We are doomed. I'm not here to speak politics. I'm here to speak as a man of God. A man that has had an interaction with divinity. A man that has koinonia with the spirit of God. I don't talk because it's fashionable to talk. I talk because I've got conviction. I speak because I have got conviction. And I'm fully persuaded by God that this country will further enter into doom if the opposition will go and be signing contracts with people who have no integrity, people who have no fear of God, just for them to gain into power. Yes, Zambians should try again to listen to you. Listen to him in 2021. Try again and listen to him. Just try again and listen to him. Once beaten, twice shy. It's an African, it's, a, it's an English proverb. Once beaten, twice shy. He lied to you in 2021. He has come to admit it that he lied. He has come to admit it that he was operating under deception. What decision are you going to make? Are you going to continue to listen to his lies? Are you going to listen to him to, 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 to speak to his deception? Are you going to listen to him? To do all that he's doing. In the name of agreement. 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 I think many Zambians did not listen to that live broadcast of yesterday very, very carefully. The man said you need to sign in order for him to now work with you. You need to have an agreement. It means it's not the interest of the people. It's the interest of his pocket. Listen, as Zambians, we need to be united. We need to be united beyond political lines. We need to have the best interest of the country at heart. We need to be very, very united as Zambians. Because the truth of the matter is this. Andrew is not the solution of Zambia. Siawan is not the solution of Zambia. You tried it in 2021. Oh, Siawan loves Zambia. Oh, Siawan speaks for the people of Zambia. Have you had the backdoor contracts? What did his brother come to do in Zambia? He came to collect money. Yes. He came to collect money. There's no conviction of the fear of God. They will come. He is saying money is leaving Zambia. But he is also part of the people that are collecting money from Zambia. 
Wireless Mili Mili is expensive. He has built himself a mansion in Nigeria. Wireless, we are having various problems in Zambia. He received a paycheck. For how long are we going to continue? For how long are we going to continue like this? As a nation, how long are we going to continue like this? How long? We used to have a value in Zambia as men of God. That when people come to us for spiritual direction, we give them what God is saying. Not what our pockets are saying. I refuse. I call upon every man of God in Zambia that has any political con connection with any politician. Your duty in the life of that politician is to correct that politician. Regardless of how much that politician is giving to you, your duty as a minister of the gospel is to correct. Men of God, let us not be afraid to rebuke these politicians. They are our sons. They are our daughters. Let us not fail to rebuke these politicians. Let us not fail. Men of God in Zambia, let us not become like Andrew. Let us not become men of God who are merchandising. Merchandising the gospel. Because this is merchandising influence. Yes, it's merchandising influence. If you are a man of God and you know President HH, you are in the life of President HH to correct, to advise, to rebuke, to reprimand. That is the reason why you are there as a man of God. Because your office is an office that is consecrated. Your office is an office that is backed by heaven. Your office is an office that is backed by divinity. That is why you are there in the life of that president. If you are a man of God and you are in the life of an MP, or you are in the life of a, 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 a minister, let that minister hate you for speaking truth to power. Let that MP hate you for speaking truth to power. Let that minister hate you for speaking truth to power. Let that MP hate you for speaking truth to power. And you would have done your duty as a man of the cloth. You would have done your duty and your service to God. When Balaam was hired by Barak. He said he was going to go and kiss Israel. And the Bible says when the Lord appeared to Balaam, he said to the king that had paid him, who am I to kiss what the Lord has blessed? We need men of God in this country that we look at a cabinet minister that we look at one million dollars and still say the truth even when they don't have that one million dollars we don't need men of god that change sign posts because now millimeter is expensive hh is not is not good for andrew again because now fuel is expensive because now they are not paying him his cut, then HH is not good. If Andrew is branding HH to be a bad person, it is not because HH is a bad person, but because he's not receiving his payment. I want every person to understand this. And I want you to understand why Andrew branded ECL as a bad person. Because whatever that Andrew is doing to HH now is exactly what he did to ECL. There is no difference. If you pay him, you are friends. 
if you don't pay him, you are his enemy. And that is a man of God that people can be celebrating the whole country and people have the audacity of insulting genuine men of God that are speaking truth to power. Zambians are going through a lot. And we speak truth to power. Yes. President HH, things are not okay in Zambia. People are dying. They are crying. Things are not okay. And I'm not saying this because it's political. I'm saying this because it's the truth. And I can speak truth to power. But the moment I begin to speak truth to power, because I've got a hidden agenda, I, I have not received my payment. Her payment is Kanabwele. So now I need to speak against President Tejet. I don't qualify to be a man of God. And for all of you Christians that go to the inbox of CR1, Papa, 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 that is the kind of man of God you go to. That is the kind of man of God you go to. The truth is not in him. The devil comes to steal. To kill. To destroy. Joseph Chisenga is saying, is not a coward. He speaks the truth. Yes, he speaks the truth with a price. His truth can never come without being paid. So what kind of truth is that? Joseph, I want you to ask yourself this question. Joseph Chisenga. What kind of truth is truth that is spoken because money has exchanged hands? What kind of truth is that? Is that your kind of truth? You see, we, we are living in a, in, a, in a society that is having a moral decay. When you begin to think like that, Joseph, it means there is a moral decay. Moral, your moral decadence has gone down. Because any man that speaks the truth because he has been paid, because he has been paid, and that is the correct way, that man's moral compass has a moral decay. If your parents only speak the truth because they can benefit from you, ha! Because this is the mentality that I bleed in my heart. I bleed in my spirit. When I hear people say, see how one speaks the truth. See how one speaks the truth. See how one speaks the truth. I bleed in my heart. Because they don't know why the man says the things he says. For him, for him, Zambia is a business. Is a beast and it has made him very rich, filthy rich, filthy rich. Filthy. You people don't know how much Siawan is worth. You don't know. You don't know. You don't you don't know. And the, and, and 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 he has used you. The poor people of Zambia to become rich. And he wants to use you again. The poor people of Zambia to become rich. I'm not stopping you from watching him. I want you to watch him. Yes. You need to watch him. So that you can understand how wicked people can be. How people can sell themselves to the devil. How wicked. Because when we say it the way we are saying it, people say we are jealous. Some of us, we are not doing ministry because of what we can gain materially. We are doing ministry because God has called us. We are doing ministry. Ministry. Listen to me. We are doing ministry because God has called us. And because if we don't do it, the, the, the life our children are going to live is a life that we cannot be proud of. That is why we are doing ministry. 
And that is why we are doing ministry. I decided that I, I will keep quiet in, 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 in Zambia. But yesterday, my heart was broken. That Siawan is involved in fuel deals in our country. Oil deals. Jesus Christ. So he's supporting politicians to enrich himself. While someone in Kanyama is dying of hunger. While someone in Kanyama is dying of poverty. A man of God. A man of God. I may not be your favorite preacher. I may, not, I may not be your favorite preacher. I may not be, and I'm, and I'm not saying this so that you become my member. You see, in our church, we, 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 we minister righteousness and purity. We minister integrity. We minister the fear of God. So if, if, if you're not ready to have the fear of God, no, you cannot become my follower because you and me, we can never agree on anything. We can never agree on anything. That's why a lot of people will never agree with me. Yes. Because there are certain principles I have. You cannot steal money and bring tithes to me. I will never collect it. I will never collect it. You will never fornicate with a man and bring tithes to me. I will never collect it. You will never fornicate with a woman and bring your tithe to me. I will never collect it. This is the kind of man of God that I am. For some of you that don't know who I am. I'm a very, very difficult person. You can ask my sons and my daughters who are around me. I'm a very, very, very difficult person. Very difficult person. Why? Because a man of God needs to have integrity. Someone is saying, you have started again. Start what? We are, have started what? And what did I stop? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fighting Siawan. He's already fighting himself. I can't fight him. I can't fight. I'm, he's already fighting. You see, when God begins to fight you, you begin to expose yourself. When God begins to fight you, you begin to just expose yourself. See how one will say everything they did. He will say them. He will say them. Everything they did in me, he will say them. There are people who have entered into blood covenant. And you will hear it from his page. You will hear it. Yes, you will hear it. Because when you consult the devil, or an agent of the devil, be rest assured, the only thing that agent of the devil will do is connect you to the devil. Thank you, Mr. Edwin Banda. You said you don't need to be difficult. Maybe I'm not difficult, I'm just principled. I have principles. One of the reasons why I left CR1, many of you don't know, one of the reasons why I left Siawan was because I have principles. I cannot steal from people because I want to be rich. I cannot lie to people because I want to be rich. I will not do that. I will not do that. My associating with Siawan was so financially lucrative to me. But I, I looked at what I stand for. What do I stand for? Yes. When I was hanging around Siawan, I was with him. Let me tell you the truth. Money was coming in. Things were coming in. But at the expense of what? At the expense of my conscience. The testimony of my conscience. We will not sell our conscience. I will not sell my conscience. I will not do it. It's better I don't have a car, but my conscience is intact. I don't have a house, my conscience is intact. Because you see, for some of us, we know that heaven is the goal. 
I know that this earth I'm just passing by. I know that. Nobody needs to tell me. I know that. And even all the politicians that are listening to me, you need to understand that beyond, beyond politics, when you go to heaven, you are going to account for what you did to the people of Zambia. Every politician, I want you to hear me, every member of parliament, both in opposition and in the ruling party, I want you to hear me. The battle you have is not against the people of Zambia. The battle you have is against God. God has given you an opportunity as a politician. God has given you an opportunity to serve the people of God. God has put you in that seat of authority to serve the people of God. If you enrich yourself using the people of God, you manipulate, you do all the things you are doing. I want you to know that power is not permanent and your life is not permanent too. You need to reflect on all these things. You need to reflect. You need to reflect in all these things. Have an introspection. And those of you that are still clapping for Siawan, just have an introspection. Some of the people that clap for Siawan, sorry to say this, but they have a mental disorder. Why am I saying they have a mental disorder? A man cannot deceive you and come and tell you that I deceived you and you still clap and allow him to deceive you again. There is something wrong. Siawan said something in his live broadcast yesterday. He said the level of spiritual brainwash that was done. Mm, when the level of spiritual brainwash that was done. The level of spiritual brainwash that was done. My God. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. When I heard those words. That the level of brainwash that was done. Spiritual brainwash. Uh, as at this point in time. I'm not talking about physical brainwash. That one, you can come out of it by thinking correctly. But I'm talking about spiritual brainwash. What is spiritual brainwash? Spiritual brainwash is when your senses are spiritually tempered with. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. If you are a man of God, I want you to pray for Zambia. If you are a woman of God, I need you to pray for Zambia. You need to pray. Someone is asking me, why are you watching him? It's vindication time. I must watch. When God is exposing people that have caused you so much pain in life, you must watch. Psalm 91 says it this way, with your eyes shall you see and behold the reward of the wicked. So I'm watching. And the truth of the matter is, I will not stop watching. Even his next broadcast, I will watch it. Because there are so many things that I know that when I begin to talk about them, people are going to say, maybe the man of God is saying them out of jealousy. Maybe the man of God is saying them out of spite. So you and me, we are going to watch together. And you are going to see the level of wickedness. The level of wickedness. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. 
And let God help Zambia. May God help Zambia. As I'm ending this broadcast, please, if you love Zambia, I want you to type, may God help Zambia. Please do that for a minute. It's a prayer. No, someone is saying, Buana, compare your life. See, let me tell you something. I cannot compare my life and the life of Siawan on financial level. Siawan is richer than me by far. By far. By, when it comes to, 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 to financial wealth, he's richer than me by far. Me, I'm struggling. Oh. I'm struggling. That's the truth. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. So, I'm, I'm not even comparing. I'm not comparing myself. I'm not comparing myself to him. I can't. Please, if you love Zambia, this is a prayer. This is a prayer. If you are prophetic and you watched the live video yesterday and you have the same conviction that I have, please type the word, may God help Zambia. It's a prayer we are praying for Zambia. Everybody may not like it. Everybody may not agree with it. That is why some people are foolish and some people are wise. The foolish will continue to be foolish. The wise will become wise. I don't expect that when I come on social media, everybody will clap. No, I don't expect that. Because on social media, grade 7 pupils are here. On social media, grade 9 pupils are here. Grade 12 are here. University are here. Technocrats are here. Business people are here. And even those that failed in school are here. Even those that have never been to school are here. So please ignore them. Ignore, ignore some people. This is a prayer that may God help Zambia. We may have different political opinions. But this is the fundamental opinion that we must have. That Zambia must be great. That God must help Zambia. May God help Zambia. May God help Zambia. Someone is saying, I never liked Siawan, but I want him to help us boot out an evil president. Listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is the same mentality you had in 2021. This is the same mentality. Kaluba Ngona. This is the... Have, you need... Listen. You don't need the recommendation of Siawan. What you need is the... the God to reveal what is God saying over Zambia. That's what you need. You don't need recommendation. Because anyone can pay Sia one to recommend the person. Is that the right leader? We need a leader that has not paid people. A leader that God is bringing out into the nation. A leader that can stand and say, I will not bow down to the gods of Nebuchadnezzar. I will not bow down to, 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 to corruption. I will not bow down to lies. I will not bow. Please continue commenting. May God help Zambia. We are praying. This is a prayer. We are praying. Andrew cannot help us. He cannot. We don't need him to help us. Because we will continue in a circle of deceit. We will continue in a circle of deceit. We will continue in a circle of deceit. In a circle of deceit. We will continue. We need to learn. And now we are learning. We need to learn. We need to learn. To learn. To learn. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Someone is saying let's preach the word of God. What I'm preaching is the word of the devil. According to you, what I am preaching, is it the work of the devil? I don't, that's what, please, you are, you are, please, can Facebook find a way of, of put, putting some qualification towards someone having a Facebook account? Because this level of, of thinking, this level of thinking is very shallow. This level of thinking is... I want to tell the opposition. I want to warn them. 
I want to warn the opposition. I want to warn them, please. I want to warn them, please, 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 please. please. Don't sell out. Don't sell out. See, I want. May God forgive see, I want. I'm t may, may, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. DM uh, Shadrick, please, if, if, you, if, if, you, if you appreciate this live broadcast, please just type there. DM uh, Shadrick is saying, I thank God that you have come live. I, I had a strong conviction that I should come live. I had a very, very strong conviction that I should come live and just begin to come and share with you uh, what I feel by God as a man of God. Remember, not every man of God can come live and say the things that I've said because some of them don't have the platform. Some of them don't have the, 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 the calling. You know, speaking out is a calling. You are the point, man of God, may God help us. Yes. Listen. What I do online is a calling. Don't insult men of God who don't speak. Because it takes a high level of boldness that comes from the Spirit of God to confront certain matters. It's, it's, it's a high level. Even me, myself, I don't understand the kind of boldness I have. Sometimes I say, I say things that are not fashionable to say, but God is happy that I say them. So it is a calling to speak about certain things. It's a calling. I'm telling you, not every man of God not every man of God can say the things that I say. Not every man of God can say that. Not everything, and not everybody can say that. So it's a calling. But we need. Ha! Huh. Thank you, Apostle Godfrey. Don't sit quiet. Come live always. We need your help. You know Siawan by person and I know we can pull him down. Someone is saying, why are you making noise uh, after Siawan yesterday? To you it can be noise. I know. To some of you it can be noise. To some of you it can be noise. Yes. It can be noise. For you it can be noise because you see, even a, even a fool needs to have followers. Yes, even, even foolish people, they need to have followers. And I have noticed something in life now. Foolish matters trend more than things with wisdom. Watch every video that is trending on media. You will see that that one where foolish things are happening, it will trend more. Where things of wisdom are happening, it may not even trend because it takes the mind of God for you to be wise. It takes the mind of God. No, no, wisdom is a gift from God. And not a lot of people have it. That is why Solomon had to ask God for wisdom. Because wisdom, you can, you can be rich, but you are not wise. You can be popular, but you are not wise. You, you, you can be educated, but you're not wise. So it, 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 it takes. You see, when I speak, when I speak, eh, I, 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 I speak from the place of what is God saying? Lord help Zambia. God help our political leaders in Zambia. A lot of things are going wrong. A lot of things are going wrong. May God help this nation. May God help this nation. And, 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 and if you are a man of God, I want to appreciate you for standing with God. 
It's not, ministry is not easy. You find people with money, they want to tempt you. People with money, they want to bribe you. I'm not saying money is bad. Money is very good. It takes money to run ministries. Stefan is saying, I like you so much, prophet, because you always speak out when things don't make sense. Yes. But there are people who are already clapping for Sia. They are already clapping for him. Because he has come to expose. Expose what? He's not exposing anything. He's simply... You see, the live of yesterday was a threat to, to, to UPND. I will not be surprised if UPND sends a representative to go and talk to Siawan. I'm telling you. Because yesterday he was standing on two positions. If you don't come and meet me, I will never speak again. Meaning that if the ruling part, you see Zambians, we need. Zambians, we we, we need we need to be very wise. We need to be very so if if the UPNG go and meet Siawan, Siawan is going to keep quiet. You forget about anything. If the opposition go and meet him, mm. the Genesis mandate, we thank God for you. You are like your father, Prophet Joshua Igila Ministries, the fearless lion. More grace, man of God. Thank you so much. It will take people like us who are wise for this nation to enter into a dimension. It will take wisdom. A lot of wisdom. President H.H. has got out, out of his mandate of five years. I think he, he, if we enter, when we enter August, he'll be remaining with about two years. Whatever that went wrong, we don't want to know. But if, if he can correct the errors, let him correct the errors. But if he cannot correct the errors, we cannot also have a leader that is endorsed by Sia. Then we are in trouble. Then the problem of Zambia is not ending anytime soon. No? Then we are in trouble. We are in trouble. We are in, we are in trouble. May God help Zambia. I cannot see your comment. Somebody comment and say, may God help Zambia. Somebody comment and say, may God help Zambia. May God help Zambia. May God help Zambia. We pray for the help of Zambia. That God will help Zambia. We pray that God will touch the people in authority. That God will touch the people who are in opposition. That God will touch these people to have integrity. May God give our leaders integrity. May God give our leaders. This is my prayer. This is my prayer. May God give our leaders integrity. To be able to do the right thing when it is not fashionable to do so. May God help Zambia. You are a prophet and you are commenting, Prophet Isaac. God bless you, sir. Isaac Matambo. God bless you, sir. May, may God give our minister the fear of God. You see, when people fear people, they, they will not change. When people fear people, they will not change. Nothing will change our politicians apart from the fear of God. Because the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. Not fear. The fear of God. 
Father, we pray for our president at church that we have the fear of God. That the fear of God, the fear of God, that is what is going to make the president to do the right thing at the right time. The fear of God. We pray for the cabinet that they will have the fear of God. The fear of God. Opposition leaders, Sean Tembo, uh, uh, Harry Kalawa, uh, ECL, all these are uh, Silavwe, all these people, Sakwiba Sikota. Father, give them the fear of God. The Bible says when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. When the righteous rule, the people rejoice. Father, may you give an impartation to politicians of righteousness. To rule Zambia with righteousness. Right standing with God. The right standing with God. The right standing with God. The right standing with God. They, they, they must. Do you know what the fear of God does to a man? It, if he wants to steal, he cannot steal. The fear of God. If he wants to lie, he will not lie. If he wants to be deceptive, he will not be deceptive. The fear of God. Only the fear of God. To restore the fear of God. We cannot have ministers who have, who, who have no fear of God. How can a man that does not fear God have regard for a fellow man? Hear this. If you are a married woman and your husband fears God, you are able to see how he treats you. Because he does not treat you because of the way he wants to treat you. But he treats you because of the fear of God he has. When you have a wife that has the fear of God, you enjoy your marriage because she does not fear what kills the flesh. She fears what, what you see, may the politicians fear the one that can see them doing backdoor deals. The reason why so many politicians are doing backdoor deals, they are so corrupt, is because they have no fear of God. When a politician has the fear of God, huh? when a politician has the fear of God, he will not collect bribe. No, he will not collect bribe. No, he will not collect bribe. He will not collect bribe. When a politician has a fear of God, because the fear of God, Titus is saying there's no difference between you and Sion. How can you see the difference? You cannot see it. No, you cannot. It takes wisdom to see the difference between me and Sion. I'm telling you, it, it, you see, this thing cannot. Jesus asked the disciples, Who do men say I am? And Peter said, you are the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the... Jesus said, flesh and blood. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. For you to know the difference between me and Siawan, it takes the high level of fear of God. Because you see, you have eyes, but you see not. You have ears, but you hear not. You have got a mouth, but you speak not. The fear of God. The fear of God. Anywhere you are in the nation of Zambia. Anywhere you are in the nation of Zambia. May God give you. His fear. 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 This does not only go to politicians. This also goes to businessmen. This also goes to businesswomen. This also goes to, 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 to all sorts of people. The fear of God. The fear of God. 
the fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. When 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 Andrew was insulting God, that was the eye opener. In 2021, he was insulting God. And many Christians, because they were, they were so overtaken with the happenings that were happening, they saw him as a Messiah, even when he was insulting God. When a man began to insult God, that man is not worth following. When a man has no regard for men of God, that man is not worth following. I'm telling you the truth. Any man that has no regard for the caller. I see some of you are commenting, insulting, all sorts of things. When you have no regard. Hmm, you have no regard for men of God. You have no regard. We, you see, there are some people when they comment on Facebook, I feel pity for them. Because when you have no regard for the things of God, when you have no regard for servants of God, I know that something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. For the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Seek ye the kingdom. Zambia now needs credible voices, men of God that can speak and give direction. Credible voices. Cred Zambia now needs to get to a place where credible men of God, not, not because somebody has paid. Credible men of God that we say, this is the direction we are taking. This is how we are going to move. Because the prophetic is the preservative. Thank you, Jesus. The prophetic ministry is the preservative ministry. The reason why people seek the help and the guidance of prophets is because they don't want to fall in a ditch. That is why the prophetic is so important. You cannot ignore the prophetic. But you see the problem with people, those of us that are uh, consulting prophets, we want prophets that we will say what we want to hear. We are not ready for God. Are you getting what I'm saying? We are not ready for God. We are ready for... Uh, I, I met, I've met some ladies who came with me with a picture of a certain man. Man of God, what is God saying about this man? When you tell them that this man is not a good man for you, they will leave you and go and meet another prophet because they are not looking for the voice of God. What they are looking for is to, 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 to endorse what they want. You, you, if you are looking for the prophetic, look for the prophetic while you have emptied yourself. And you are saying, here I am, Lord. What are you saying? That is, the, that is the only way you can get the true mind of God. Not because someone has been paid. Not because you have given a very big seed. Not because, but because you have emptied yourself with God. Because children of God, when a prophet is bribed to speak, money is speaking, not God. Money is speaking, not God. Money is speaking. Some of you, what I'm saying to you is resonating with you because it's beyond what Sia said. Some of you have made mistakes in life because you consulted people that told you what you wanted to hear and now you are in trouble because what you wanted to hear is not working some of you your businesses are not working because you consulted men of god that told you what you wanted to hear so they told you what you wanted to hear and now it's not working they told you you are going to marry this i i i i posted a video of one of my sons who got married in 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 the nation of Nigeria I met him in South Africa 
And I said to him, you are not going to marry here. I see you traveling to Nigeria. And that is why you are going to meet your wife. Last year, I met him in June. In November, he traveled to Nigeria. And he came back to South Africa. And now he has gotten married to a Nigerian woman. That is what we call direction. 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 That's what we call direction. Not what people want to hear, but direction. Prophets are not entertainers. Prophets are people that speak the mind of God and they give direction. That's what prophets do. So whatever you are hearing the sound of my voice, <clears throat> this is what I wanted to say to you. Please, let's take time and just say a short prayer. You can type amen to this prayer. I want to pray for you that as you have the fear of God, I decree and I declare wherever you are, as you have the fear of God, I declare, as you are a child of God, I declare that may God come through for you in the name of Jesus.